guys, so today's gonna be a very exciting video. Um, I don't think I was correct English, but whatever. And it is my haul. Oh my gosh. Um, today is yearly favorites for the year of 2015. I'm very, very, very excited. It might be a long video. Sorry if I'm like, um, I film on my phone. If you guys didn't know, I film on my phone. I'm getting text messages right now. So I'm like editing them out. So that's why I like, um, my finger's really close to the camera. But like I said, as I was starting to say, this video is probably going to be really long. So just be prepared for that. But let's get into it. Okay, let's start with my favorite part, the makeup, and I'm going to start off with the first thing, face. Well, depending on what you do, some people do their eyes first, but I do my face first, so I'm going to get into both products first. So, I've been loving a makeup spray throughout the year. Um, part part of the year, I was using the NYX one, the NYX Dewy Finish Shedding Spray, but for most of the year, I was using this one. It's the e.l.f. one, you can't really tell because it's rubbed off, but it's just the e.l.f. makeup, makeup spray. Um, it's three dollars. You get like two fluid ounces. I think it's like completely rubbed off. Like <laughs> I've probably gone through two or three bottles of this this year. I don't actually remember because, like I said, for a couple months I was using the next one because I wanted to try it out. But this one's cheaper and I think it just as good. Um, use it every day. Absolutely love the feeling. So yeah, love this. Sorry if I'm looking very summery. It's like winter, but I live in Georgia, so who cares? And plus, I film my room, so it's like straps, and then I'm wearing this headband. So yeah, I know it's like off season, but I don't really care. It's cute. Okay, and I have three concealers, which I know it's like uh, three concealers, but they're good. Um, and plus, throughout most of the year, I was wearing concealer more than foundation. So yeah, um, I'm gonna get into this one first. This is the collection concealer in number four, dark. I think the label, but it's number four. And it just looks like this. I got this in my Europe trip. I'm like running really low on this. But super pigmented, super creamy, very blendable, and it covered so well for like four pounds? Five pounds? I don't actually remember how many pounds this was. Um, it's amazing. So yeah, I absolutely loved this concealer throughout the half of the year that I had it. So yeah, really, really good. Okay, my next, like, skin concealer, this one, um, is brightening, which I'll get into, but the next, like, skin concealer is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer, and oh my god, this is, stuff's amazing. I use the shade Toffee, and it's a brush tip, and you just squeeze, and, like, like I'm, like, running out. Ugh. Oh my god. And there it is, I put a bit too much on, but that's okay. Looks like that, and, like, the collection one, super pigmented, super blendable. It's a little bit more blendable than the collection one, but oh, it's so good. So yeah, I've just been loving this one throughout the rest of the year that I had it. Um, yeah, really good concealer. Deserves the hype that is given. Oh, so amazing. And my last concealer, oof, dropped it, is the Maybelline Dream Me Me. It's one of these highlighting concealers. And you just twist it up, and the concealer comes out fresh. And there it is. I used the shade Honey. And I'm wearing it today. Brightens really well. Super inexpensive. So if you wanna, if you don't wanna splash on like the Dior one or the YSL one, um, check this one out. This one's really good. Okay, now I have two powders. I have a face powder, um, Rimmel Stay Matte. This is like holy grail for me. It is amazing. I use number five. Basically, it just translucent. Like it doesn't really matter what shade I get. It all translucent on me. But oh my god. So smooth, it mattifies really well, but not to the point where it's like cake face, like it's patchy. I've hit major panic on this. It just it's so inexpensive. The packaging's not that great, like I already have cracks in my lid, like this lid can crack really easily. But oh it's so good. So yeah, I highly recommend this. Go to Target or Walmart, it's cheaper there if you get it than if you get it at like Walgreens. But yeah, love this. Sorry, I got to another text message. Here we go. So yeah, love that. And then the next powder is for your under eye elf under eye powder. Oh, using it today, it is so good. It's a loose powder, so you have to be kind of careful with it. Here it is. Here. So there's the powder, and it's super smooth for being three bucks. It is super good. So yeah absolutely love this powder super good 
don't know how many times I can say super good in this video. Darth that gets annoying, but let's get on with the rest of these products. So I have two bronzers. Um, I'll get into this one. This is NYC Sunny. This just like stole my heart. Like when I first, sorry about my one nail. Like when I get bored, that's where the nail polish comes off. Um, this just stole my heart. It's so inexpensive and I just absolutely love this bronzer. Um, I'm not wearing this one today. I'm wearing the other one that I'll talk about. But oh my god, it is so good. So yeah, super smooth. I absolutely loved this during the rest of the year that I had it. It was close to the end of the year, but I can really say that it is a year with a weird type. It doesn't my headband is kind of weird. This I never wear my headbands like this, but I decided to do it today. The next bronzer is the per Park F Princess one. I got this in my AC bag in June or July. I forgot. It was one of the summer ones. And it's not the matte one. It's the one that has a golden glow to it. But like I said, I'm wearing it today. And oh my gosh, as you can tell, I put pan on it. It is so nice. There it is. And it's just such a nice bronzer. Um, super smooth, super pigmented, and I just love the way it looks on my skin. Okay, as you guys know, I love highlighters, and I have a ton. But this year, I actually got into highlighters last year. I was into highlighters, but, like, I was kind of into the crappy ones. Like, they had a lot of shimmer. I thought they were nice, but they really weren't. These, these are good, so... Yeah, I'm going to get into this one, which I actually got in my January of this year. And I loved this for probably, I still love it now, but like I loved it for months straight. And it is the Red Blonde Highlighting Palette in number 30. And like, look at that pan. Like, like I hit pan here and up here. I don't know how that happened, but it did. And it's just, it's similar, well I'm guessing it's similar to the Bobbi Brown one in bronze. Like similar color, since they have the same name. And there's the color. So I can hear the garage door. My dad just got home. And there it is right there. It's so nice. Super smooth. And yeah, I just loved this this year. It was amazing. This was my first like good quality highlighter. So yeah, love this one. Next one is the Went Wild Fergie highlighter in Hollywood Boulevard. This is what it looks like. It's a golden highlighter with pink swirl throughout it. And... Okay, um, sorry. It looks like this. I did like a big swatch. Um, and it looks like that. I did like an intense swatch. <laughs> and there's the glow to it. So pretty. I love golden highlighters. So yeah, love this one. Sorry if I'm going through these products kind of quickly. I just want to like speed through this since I did have quite a lot. Um, I'll do the last powder ones. The the bomb highlighters, love this. Mary, uh, yeah, Mary Lou, Cindy Lou, and Betty Lou, love these highlighters. They like those. And there are the highlighters. Sorry. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, super pigmented, super intense. Like you need a tiny amount of this high of these highlighters, and you will like glow. Just a nice sheen. So yeah. Okay, the last highlight is actually a liquid highlight. Um, my first year of getting into liquid highlights. The Wet and Wild, Wet and Wild. The NYX Liquid Illuminator in number one. Okay, I just got like way too much. Okay. And there it is. Okay, this, this guy is really trying me right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a pinky. I'm like embarrassing myself in front of the camera right now. Um, a pinky highlight is really good. It's very smooth. I use it mixed in with my primer or on my cheekbones, and then I like put a powder highlight, or I just use it by itself. Love this highlight. It's really good. Okay, now I have eye products. I'll get into the eyeshadow palettes. I have three. The first one is the collection Eyes Uncovered Nude Gray Palette. It looks like it's very cool tone, like it has silvery, and then some warped tones too, so it's like a mix of half and half. And I absolutely love these two shades in there. 
there. And then this matte black. Oh, pff, wrong shade. This matte black. Like, look how deep that is. It's so pretty. And this is a brow bone. Pretty nice. I'm just going to wipe it down. Okay, the camera's having a malfunction. Um, okay. Problem with filming on your phone. Okay, that's good. If that's good, I'm sorry. But yeah, I just used this. I got this in my ear pull again. Um, and I just used it a lot after I got it. So yeah, really, really nice. If you can get this where you are, I highly recommend this. They do have a couple other shades. If you don't like these shades, they have another one. Uh, a couple other ones. Okay, the next two are from Maybelline both. The Nudes and the Smokes palette. The Nudes are more neutral, warm-toned color. Absolutely love these two colors right here. And then this black gold shade for pretty, super affordable, and I absolutely love this palette when I got it this summer, I think. No, I got it last year. Because <gasps> I remember wearing it um my freshman year. I got it last year. God, I have such bad memory. And this one I got this year during the school year, during my sophomore year. Um, for a cool tone with grays and blues and purples. So, yeah, love this for a nice time. I feel like I actually wore this on Homecoming. I actually wore both of these. I kind of mixed them. So, yeah, love these palettes. Okay, now I have primers and, like, bases. Um, to be a of friends, like, you knew this was coming if you watched my videos in the beginning. Like, you knew this primer was coming in my vid in this video. Like, I absolutely love this stuff. Used in the Under My Shadows today. Love this, like... Mm, it's so good. I haven't tried the Urban Decay Shadow Primer Potion, so I don't know. Like, some people like that one, and some people like this one. It's like a duel, but it is so good. Just take my word for it. It is good. Good. Okay. Now, I, I have two bases. NYX is Jim Blood Pencil and Milk. It's just a light. And I absolutely love this. This is fast. Okay, my fingers are so dirty. It's kind of annoying me right now. Yeah. But it's just a nice white and this works for any eyeshadow since it's white and it really gets the true pigment out of your eyeshadow since it's just a blank canvas so yeah really very highly next one is an eyeshadow crayon from Tristique in Venice Venetian gold and like the name says it's just a nice gold shade you can see that just I love this using it with the nudes palette or even with this palette um it's just a nice base super creamy and it keeps my eyeshadow on so yeah i love using bases under my eyeshadows it's just my thing okay now i have two eyeliners um do say cosmetics in number 500 black it's just the black eyeliner that this might sag again just look at that like i barely touch and it's like that like it's so black and i just love it it says it's waterproof it is like it stays on and i absolutely love it wearing it on my waterline today really nice and my next eyeliner which i kind of have to sharpen is the rimmel nude eyeliner like i've had this for since last year and it's lasted me a while and it's just a nude shade right there nice brightener brightening eyeliner super amazing less intense than white so yeah love this eyeliner sorry i feel like i'm hearing things wow um, Benefit Their Real Mascara, just amazing. I feel like this one's running out. But it's a rubberized brush with a little ball, and I just love it. I'm not left-handed, so I don't know why I'm doing that. It's just really nice mascara. Like, it's a line that I can anything in separates. So good. Expensive, yes, but really, really good. I hope I did everything today. I didn't. Okay, now I have two eyebrow products. NYX's Eyebrow Cake Powder um, in number two. It comes with two shades of powder and a gel. And these are what the powders look like. Like that. And then it has a gel. I'm wearing it today on my brows. Just oh, so good. It's less harsh than the pomade that I use from NYX, but I still love the pomade. Just I got that like November, so I didn't. Like I typically wasn't using that throughout the year, but oh, just love this super affordable but really good i have like a big pile of makeup in front of me i had them all like organized like from beside me and now i'm just like oh, just throw them in the pile next one is mani's brown eye highlighter in 
Number two has, has a matte cream shine and a luminous lip tone. I did do a first impression on this like August or something, I don't remember. And there's the two shades. Just I used the luminous lift in my inner corner and a matte cream on my brow one. I didn't use the shade because I forgot. But oh my god, it's so good. I love this number two shade. They do have a couple other shades, but this one was my favorite, so love this. Wow, this video is so long. I'm so sorry, but now we have lip products. Okay. So I'm gonna get into lip liners. I've been loving two this year. Um these two like I used in my mostly all my tutorials or like routine videos or Stuff like that. I haven't done many tutorials, but I plan to do more in the upcoming year. Like, I want to do more tutorials. Um, NYX's Natural Lip Liner. I got this. I don't even remember. It was either the end of last year or the beginning of this year. I don't actually remember. But it's from NYX's Natural Lip Liner. Just a nice pinky color. Like, look at my hand. Looks like that. Just a nice pinky color. So, yeah. This one. Again, if you watch my videos, you probably knew this was coming. Over Line Lip Liner. It's just a bit deeper than that one, a bit more browny. Oh, like I love this liner, so creamy. These are both creamy for wooden lip liners. So, yeah, I'm just like, love those lip liners. Okay, now I have a lip balm, which I know most people don't include, but I would just love this. It does have lipstick on it right now, but it's just a clear lip balm from Listex. It's one of their Happy Lips in Mango. I don't think they have these everywhere. I got this in England again. If you love mango, just and you can get this where you are, pick it up. It is so good. And moisturizing, like, it's blistex, so you know it's good. Okay, now I have two, like, crayon-type lipsticks. Um, Royal Black Pen in number 201. Uh, just... There's that color. It's just a beautiful pinky brown shade love it and it, since it's like skinny like this it's just so easy to put on so yeah love that and then i'll say real techniques no this is not a brush <laughs> love and glory sexy sexy what is it sexy mother pucker gloss stick in the nudist it's just a nice sheer lipstick right there in a nice nude shade and <sighs> smells like vanilla smells so good again got this in england just for moisturizing it's just like a quick like put it on and go kind of product so yeah love this okay now i have like a liquid lipstick type of product i consider these liquid lipsticks nyx's soft matte lip cream in can yeah or can dang it i forgot to say that but yeah it's just you put it on it's a nice like soft matte finish like the name says it's a nice warm pinky brown shade super pretty and oh it smells so good it smells like cupcakes but yeah really good okay now i have an actual lipstick um essence barely there like i was like reading it but then i was thinking about something um nice again so, like i love like these types of shades and it's like the exact same shade <gasps> but it looks like that and just the lighting will cooperate looks like that oh just so good i wore this like good probably five months straight like it was so good so good now i have two now i have two lip glosses um one from nyx nyx's butter gloss and angel food cake just looks like that just goes with any of the lip products i just showed you and oh it smells so good so yeah super pigmented lasts all day it's really not sticky just Buy any of them. Take my word for it. And then Maybelline Baby Lip Lips Gloss in Lilac Lumi number 20. This one was like it's like my all time favorite one out of the ones that I tried. It's a beautiful purpley shade like blue glitter. It might not show up on camera since it's like a pretty sheer lip gloss. But I just love this lip gloss. It's the prettiest out of the ones I have. I have five of them and this one's the prettiest. So yeah. Love that one. Okay, now I have some tools. Or makeup brushes. This one's a tool. Um, Elf eyelash, Elf eyelash curler. Oh my god, this curls so well. It's a dollar. It's just so good. I recently switched out the pad like a couple days ago, but oh, it's so good. Highly recommend it if you want a cheap eyelash curler. That works. Again, I have two real techniques brushes. 
it'll take me to powder brush and it'll take me to setting brush just I use this for under the eyes and I use this to pack oh my god the, my powder it just oh it's, mm, it is they're so good like I said I moved the camera down a little bit um just amazing amazing brushes just oh so good and then I have an eyeshadow brush from Melissa's Mott, the, like, it's just a shadow brush. I got this in, like, my January Ipsy bag this year. It is so good. I'm really sorry. sorry. Mm. Camera's not cooperating. Okay. Shadow brush from Melissa's Mott. Just, oh, I love using this to apply my shadow colors. So amazing. So, mm, love this one. My last tool. I'm sorry. This video is, like, a thousand minutes long. Um, the Ardell, like, dual-ended eyebrow brush. There's not actually a name on this, but it's from the brand Ardell. And there's hair on it. Hello. There's some hairs on it. I just, I love this to apply, like, the, um, the NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder or my pomade. Oh, it applies it so smoothly. And I just love this one. I love my friends. So, yeah, love it. Mm. Again, I have some skincare, but I'm going to first talk about if you saw my December empties video, you saw that I ran out of my simple face mask and I cannot buy it here. I don't think they sell it here yet. I got it in England. But that's a yearly fair bit like that. It's an amazing mask. I just love that mask. Next time I go to England, I will definitely be picking up more of those. It's amazing. Hopefully by the time that I do go to England, they'll sell it here. But at the moment, they do not sell that simple face mask. So yeah, I just thought the my December empties I accidentally threw that away. I wanted to save it for this video to show you, but... Again, if you saw my December empties, um, you saw that. So, just wanted to mention that before I get into the actual, like, favorites I can show you. Yeah, let's get into the skincare favorites. So, I have a... I, w I didn't put this in my makeup category just because it's more of a skincare item to me. It's the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. Just, oh, it's so good. It smells so good. And, yeah, it just... You wet your lips a little bit, rub it on, and... Take it off and put some lip balm on, and your lips are smooth. I use this once a week. I just love this one. So good. They do have a couple other scents now, but I haven't tried them. Just this one, which is the original one. So, yeah. Okay, now I have the makeup remover. Just, that's what I care about. The Neutrogena makeup wipes. Wipes, not wipes. Holy garage, the blue ones, just so good. I used this after I used this, this stuff right here. This stuff's amazing. It's the Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil. Just, oh, so good. Just put it in your hand, wet it a little bit, and it just takes off most of the makeup. And then I just go in with those, these, and they just take it all off. And then after I use those, just take that last bit of face makeup off, I use this, and then I wash my face. So, lengthy process, but it works for me so yeah this is the simple cleansing micellar water pick it up it's so good okay now i have an eye cream from nourish organics again got this in my like january it's bag no bag. it was one of the beginning months and like i still have a lot of this left like yeah it's starting to pinch in but like eye cream will last you forever and i love this eye cream i may be only 15 but it's better to prevent than wait until like it's too late so yeah and the last skincare product is the Dermalogica and their ski spot fix just a spot gel and you put it on your finger just dot it all over your face and it's so good will i reverse this i don't know because it is expensive but it's good so yeah so good so so good Okay, so now I have some hair and body products. I only have one body product, so I'll get into that first. Um, the One Direction Arm and Lip Perfume. Um, just, I have the roller ball and... Mmm, smells so good. Um, I absolutely love this perfume. It is just amazing. Um, I got this at Raw, no, Marshalls, and just love this one. Now I have some hair products. I'll get into my hairbrush. The wet brush, I got into this this year or last year, I don't remember. But, oh, I love the wet brush. It works. Um, just mm, love this. Super gentle, but gets the knots out of your hair. So good. I feel like I'm going to, like, throw it at the camera. Crazy me. Okay, now I have a shampoo and conditioner. I'm kind of 
I kind of don't want it to drip, so I just took these on the shower. The Great Clips, the Solutions by Great Clips Clarifying Shampoo, amazing stuff. Really get that dirt out of your hair. I use that once a week. And then after I do that, I use the Aussie Cream at Miracle. Just it just brings the moisture back into my hair after I use this because this can kind of dry out your hair because you're hiding all the dirt out and this adds the moisture back in so it is so good and my last hair product is my not your mother's way to go leave-in conditioner I just think it has helped my hair a lot um it is so good I, I think I'm getting like lip gloss on my hair because it's like on my hand but yeah it's just really good it smells really good and I use it after I just take a shower, take, take, take a shower, and yeah, love this. Okay, my song favorite, I have it written down here, it is, oh, I have like a stick on my hand, it is the song What Do You Mean from Justin Bieber, I think like everyone's heard that song, I'll have the music video linked down below, if you want to check it out, just, I love that song, it was on repeat ever since it came out, don't remember when it came out, but yeah, it's a favorite, and then a random favorite is YouTube, I mean this year I did create this channel, make YouTube videos but I've been watching YouTube for a while but like this channel was created in 2015 so yeah it's just a yearly favorite for me so yeah so yeah that is my 2015 favorite sorry this video was really long I'm seeing the time thing it's saying 26 and a half minutes wow so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video comment on all saying some of your favorites from this year and yeah make sure you subscribe to be part of that sub YouTube family and I hope you have a great day bye Oh yeah, almost forgot, food flavor. Hot Cheetos, bye-bye.